Oh, well, you're talking about- yeah, you, you do look like- you look kind of like- you look kind of like Blake. What? I look like Blake? Yeah, like the way she has her ears and- the way she has her ears. <laughs> this is an insult. Where's, I'm better- I'm better than that faunus girl. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm- I, I'm going to put in the- the YouTube video. Oh, the, uh, ignore the lab rat. Ignore that. <laughs> streams or I do gaming streams. So this is going to be my first time going to do a um what's that a list stream like some kind of it's something that you guys get to know more about me and i don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing so i don't know yes it's i i've consumed a lot of media i i have a really high standard for men especially when i was a you know grade school i had a high expectations the thing is is that they're they're not real that's the best part. They're not real. So if they break your heart, you could just mend it with with like with fan fiction. It's easy, you know, or just imagine that they're better characters in your head. It's easy, not like with real people. But then that was like a long time ago. <laughs> um, as you can see here, I have the tier list over here. I'm going to be introducing all of the crushes one by one. It's Mr. Hasbina. <laughs> This guy, this guy, this one, I, do you know how hard it was just to figure out his name? I had to look up his, his voice actor. I don't really understand why. I just thought that he was really funny and I wanted to see more of him and I don't know. It, it, the way he talked, the way he talked, <laughs> like maybe it was the accent. Maybe it's the way that he moves, or maybe it's the fact that I get kind of embarrassed when I saw him when I really think that it was actually, it wasn't really, it wasn't really like a crush or anything. It was more of like, I just thought he was funny and my embarrassment I thought was a crush, you know, being blushing at the fact that he was so cute or whatever. I don't know. But yes, he was one of my crushes. I like watching a lot of movies from Disney, especially the animated ones, especially the Christmas ones. Um, I kind of liked, I, my favorite one at the time was um, Aladdin. Aladdin was my, my, my favorite. Um, but my other favorite back then was Little Mermaid, especially the first, the one prince that I thought was really handsome at the time. Up until now, I still think that he's kind of cute. Aladdin. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't? Who has it? Who hasn't had a crush on Aladdin? I mean, he had personality. Does do you remember what kind of personality Prince Charming had? Bitch, I don't even remember Prince Charming. Oh, don't worry because Aladdin's dad is also on the list. <laughs> right here, his name is actually Kasim. I found this out after researching. But yes, he had a dad and he's part of the 40 Thieves. And I don't know. When I was a kid, I just thought that Aladdin's voice was really cute. Um, I didn't like the fact that he lied, though, to Jasmine. That, that, is, that is a deal breaker right there. Especially the part where he just goes like, you know, when he, he does the, the neck thing? The neck thing where he just does like the neck rubbing thing. Like, you know, he was kind of awkward with Genie. And his voice, especially when he sang. I don't like him when he dressed up in the prince getup. He looked weird. I liked him with his like normal uh, outfit. I, I had a freaking, I had a blast as a kid. I watched this later date because I didn't even know that Aladdin had a sequel. Honestly, I was like you guys. I didn't know. So it was like, I, I don't know. He just had this appeal to him. But he also had this thing where and it's like, you don't know if he's going to be loyal or not. Because he also lies, just like Aladdin. So it was, it was weird, you know? I'm gonna put him at a C, honestly. Let's put Aladdin. Aladdin, Aladdin though. A tier. I don't care if he lied. <laughs> he, he, uh, he's the only thing is that he, the lying thing is really what's keeping him from S. Oh, wait, you can't see him, sorry. Uh, Jim Hawkins. <laughs> I, I regret that. I regret that phase where I thought, if you love somebody enough, maybe they'll fix themselves. Uh, oh, they, they're just, the only thing that they're missing in life is just a bit of love. So this is uh, Jim Hawkins. I, ha, who hasn't? Who hasn't had a crush on Jim Hawkins growing up? Honestly, as a teenager, he was... The ponytail really just sent me 
sent me waves. No, I'm not not villains. Not not villains. That's that's too beyond. More of like rebel yeah, rebellious. Or like the ones that don't follow the rules because I don't want to, but I'm not gonna hurt anybody in the way. I just wanna break the rules a bit. Cause I'm cool. I had a crush on Butch when I was a little kid. I think you could actually tell that I have a lot of inspiration from Butch. Um, from the from Powerpuff Girls, honestly. Yeah, in the later seasons, he gets more uh, screen time, honestly. And they give him a haircut. But I like this haircut like this. I just thought that he was cute when I was a kid. I, d- I don't... I think that at the same time, it was like one of those crushes that you know wouldn't be great in a relationship. Well, for me anyway, he would be too roughhousy and he's he's a bit too tough and he, he would say the wrong things at the wrong time and it would upset me. That kind of thing when I was a kid, I just knew that he was, but then he was so cute. Before you get into a relationship with someone or you try and think about like, you tell your crush that you have a crush on them, get to know them first. Actually, try to set a friendship, like try to get to know them, become friends with them a little bit. And once you think that you're ready, go ahead and try and ask them out or whatever. Because you also have to think to yourself, will we be compatible with each other? Sometimes you don't even need to think about being compatible. You could just go and be spontaneous about it. So it was the option. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I, I wish I understood why. Let's, let's watch a bit of a clip of this. The voice acting also, I think, was also a factor here. I think when I was a kid, when I saw this guy try to beat up a little kid, I was like, yes, it's that one. <laughs> yes, that one. That boy. He's beating up Goku. That one. He's too- the- I don't know. I was thinking to myself when I was a kid. Like, I thought that Goku was getting too much credit. He was getting too successful. Finally, a foil to this little kid's, like, this, 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 this really powerful kid. Finally. He looked good. Look, Yamcha looked great when he, like, when he cut his hair a bit. He looked cute. I don't... And then he, when he had his hair long, when he had his hair cut... He looked cute. Even with his little scar in his face, he looked cute. But then, like, what happened? He he was with Bulma. He was the first person with Bulma. I think I remember. They were they were boyfriend and girlfriend. That's also one of the reasons why I lost interest in him because he was in he was in a relationship with Bulma. That's one of the reasons. But I was really pissed off at the fact that he was he didn't get any girlfriend after that. Like, if you just looked at him in his face, you know, I don't care if he's weak. His face is he had a face. I don't know. Up until now, I just feel terrible for for Yamcha. It's to the point where it's like a pity crush by this point. I had a crush on him until, you know, he kept on losing and I just felt bad. And I was like, oh, I I still like you. Don't worry. It's more of a pity now. It's not really like, I'm so happy for you. It's just like, eh, not so much anymore. Sorry, Koga. Barely knew the guy. Barely knew the guy. I just liked him through face only. I liked his face. I liked his, I kind of like, I don't know, his character design maybe? That's what really drew me in? Or it's the fact that I kind of liked the color red when I was a kid. I, I really don't know. I <laughs> Knowing the lore about the watch, it means that there was an alien that has this face and this voice. That's, that's what I was point, uh, That's what I was like getting into. It's not the fact that Ben is in there. It's the fact that there are, there, there are probably other aliens that look like and sound like this. And I was in on it <laughs> this one not that not the other gremlin voice but this one this is the this is the version that i really liked of 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 uh of heat blast i've already shown you this anime I've, I've, a lot of the anime that i'm referencing here i think seth when uh wins wisteria penner i uh, kind of know about because i tried to force yeah. the animes on them Sayuki, perfect. You got it, Patrudy. Oh my God, you get it. You get a gold star. You get a gold star. <laughs> the ghost of what? <laughs> yeah, the, it's his face. That's the good. Note. Anime that you watch, maybe. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, ten, ten points to Gryffindor or whatever. It's a good show. It is. I don't know how to explain it to you. He was a. Cr- he, I didn't like him in the first season because he looked weird in the first season. The second season, though, when he has this leather jacket, oh my god! 
I was crying. It's hard to find a show with a beer. <laughs> the bus.